I wish more people knew that video games aren't a waste of time. When in life, people usually try to lecture you a philosophy, and you rarely feel touched by it. But when you're playing a video game, you realize the exact same philosophy from within yourself. And you cherish your knowledge because you know your life depends on it. Well, your game character's life anyways. For example, the game Tetris teaches you how mistakes accumulate, but successes disappear in people's minds. The game Super Mario teaches you that it's not about how high you jump, but about how far you run to succeed. The game Contra makes you realize it's not usually the enemy in front of you that destroys you, but the sentry gun behind you that you forgot to take care of that grants you your demise. The Team Fortress series teach you you cannot work alone forever. And last but not least, Minecraft makes you realize only doable creativity can be recognized. I believe the first level of entertainment a game can offer is diversity, with infinite amount of virtual worlds that does not limit the good games just because of some bad ones. Video games are just as diverse as books and movies. People shouldn't confuse video games with drugs or gambling or such addictions. You shouldn't blame the good games just because of the crimes of the bad ones. I believe that video games will be as classical, as iconic in the future as movies once did. A video game creates an entire universe of its own. And if enjoyed completely thoroughly, it can make you feel like you are, by yourself or with your friends, being introduced to a new place, a haven that allows creativeness. Video games can give a normal human being the feeling, the power of a hero. After a long day of work, you will feel the imperfection of your work, your lifestyle, or just majorly the general system of real life. While a video game can make you feel achieved, excited, and best of all, it allows you to do whatever you want to do. It is designed to immerse you in a hero's journey while giving you the freedom to craft your own path, to make you feel unique in society. Or if you just want to experience an idol's hardships and triumphs to cheer yourself up. That was the second level of entertainment a video game can offer, immersiveness. In a world of imagination, where you're not forced to accept the rules. The third level of entertainment a video game can offer is interaction. Become a conqueror. Create things that were never seen before. With video games, everybody gets to go on their own odysseys, collaborating with others or combat against others, which can boost the brain's speed and concentration. Sometimes video games are the best educators, allowing you to cooperate with perfect partners from all over the world. In movies, only the main actors get to experience the once-in-a-lifetime situations, while in video games, you experience things from all five of your senses, with details clearer than ever before. Enhancing the progress of learning and the speed of which you stop being a beginner, video games can train you and video games will improve a lot of hobbies and experiences. This is why people use games to recharge mentally every day, to accept the challenges brought to them through each level. And, and this is a game of wisdom, which is the true meaning of life. The age of games has come. People have a place to spend their time and attention. The age of games is now the forefront of history, like 17th century poetry, 18th century drama, 
19th century books, and 20th century movies. Video games are now the trend. Games are fictional, but the economics behind it and the iconicness it's brought throughout the world are more real than oneself. Games is a huge leap in world development because it immerses a controller, not an observer. It doesn't matter if you belong in the world of gaming, video games will always go into your world. It doesn't matter of your wealthiness, your class in society, your gender, or age. Everybody gets equal, infinite chances to start anew in a video game. If one stays behind the time and ignores new progressive developments, then the world wouldn't improve. And if the world stays in a constant halt, its problems will catch up to it. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and I wish more people knew that games aren't a waste of time.